Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I hope those are watching this videos having good health and doing great. In this video, I shall be explaining about Archimedes law and you know that I have already uploaded some series of videos based on these chapters uh, before explaining this beautiful concept. I uploaded a class about pressure, force, density, buoyancy or up thrust and also I uploaded the class on Pascal's law and uh, the mechanisms of multiplication of force by applying Pascal's law. In this video, I shall be discussing about Archimedes law and this is something beautiful concept of physics so that and you know the, uh, the magical story behind the invention of Archimedes law so I'm not going on that level I'm just telling the statement of Archimedes law what is it about and how would you think that uh, when there is something questions like in your exam paper from this Archimedes law so in this contest I will definitely up uh, explain about how an object will float or even sink what is the factors that should be considered here so I'll try my level best to, to explain things more in a mathematical way so that it would be helpful for you so you see that the statement of the Archimedes saying that if a body is immersed well the first thing is that immersed if if a body is immersed in a liquid that liquid can be anything that liquid can be a water kerosene even mercury whatever in any liquid if a body is immersed in any liquid the weight of the body you already know that we measure weight by multiplying mass times gravity we know it this weight of the body is reduced so it means that it is about feeling the weightlessness when an object is immersed into the water I mean or any liquid so it is reduced by an amount equal to the displaced liquid what does it mean actually what does it mean I've written that it, this argument is law is totally related with buoyancy and you know about the buoyancy or up thrust so it means that when an object is immersed in a liquid the weight of that object reduced by equal amount of what the displaced liquid amount what does it mean actually so when something will be immersed into the water suppose this is water and there is a beaker a big beaker there is some water and inside there is some object or you can say it is a cylinder trap object is immersed here now you think about the Archimedes law let's start if I say that from the upper surface of water from the upper surface of the object if the height is h1 and from the upper surface to the lower surface of the object if the height is h2 then we can say that this height this height is actually h2 minus h1 which is actually h I have already discussed these things into the uh, class of buoyancy or up thrust now you think that if it is immersed totally into the water then what is the weight where is the weight is working we already know that this weight will be working till downwards and this weight is all weight is a vector quantity and it's always uh, work towards downwards and now there will be some force which will be working upwards and this upward force is called the buoyancy and you know already that buoyancy buoyancy is equal v rho g and it comes from these equations I have already explained it and that is why I'm not discussing here in these issues so this buoyancy is equal to v rho g and we also know that weight of anybody of any object is equal m times g the mass of that object times the gravity of that space that is actually 9.8 meter per second square now you think now you think the weight 
of the object in air in air and weight of the object in a liquid weight in liquid we must know it is always it is always greater because weight of any object in air is greater than the weight of that object into any liquid because from the Archimedes law we know that if any body is up I mean, immersed into the water then for the up thrust it will lose some weight and that loosed weight is equal to the amount of water that it di displaced and how you will find that amount of water now you think suppose this is copper so there is a copper cylindrical shape, shape object and the radius of that object is suppose 5 cm hmm? and the height of the object is 10 cm now you think what should be the volume of that object we know as it is a cylindrical so the value volume would be pi r square h and now you think pi r means the radius so you see the radius is 5 cm that means 0 0.05 meter square times h is 10 cm so we should say that 0 0.1 meter now if you see some calculations like 3.1416 times 0 0.05 square times 0 0.1 which is 7.85 7.85 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter cube okay now you think one thing that this is the amount of volume of this object so that means that it will displace this similar amount of water when it will immerse into the water so this meter cube now we need to find out the amount of weight of this displaced water so now we can say that this is the meter cube that means this is the volume of this object when it was immersed into the water so it displaced this amount of water and we know that the mass of one meter cube water is 1000 kilogram 1000 kilogram now you think that 7.85 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter cube is the volume so it would be how much it would be times times thousand it's 0 0.785 kilogram i mean 0 0.78 kilogram so we got that amount of water it will displace and the weight of the amount of water is 0 0.78 times 9.8 and that is actually times 9.8 is 7.69 Newton so we can say that this is the water that this object will lose so if we got weight of this object in here and if we reduce the weight of this object in the liquid then we will find this 7.69 Newton as a result that means that means it reduced this amount of Newton when it was immersed into the liquid now you see it was just an imaginary idea that this is the 5 cm, this is 10 cm. Now we will think one thing. As it is just an imaginary idea that how I got the volume of that object and how I got that 1 meter cube is equal 1000 kg. I was just outlined how you will get the reduced amount. The, the weight that body is already reduced is that Newton. But the mass of the object is not given. I didn't think about it. I was just giving you that example how you should think. Now you think one thing. We say, we say what? 
We said that that when a body is immersed into the liquid, then the lost weight, the lost weight of the object, okay, the lost weight of the object is equal to the dis the amount of the amount of displaced displaced water according to Archimedes law so when it was lost something like this amount of lost so lost of weight of the object this one is equal to the amount of displaced water okay now you think one thing that as weight is working downstairs as weight is working downstairs and then up thrust or the buoyancy is working upward it means the buoyancy is the main reason of losing this amount of weight when it is immersed into the water so now we can say that the weight the weight or the buoyancy that is actually v rho g think one thing simply this is the weight of a body and this is the buoyancy of that body when it is actually immersed into some liquid so now can you remember one thing this v is the volume of the object think something this is the object where this is the velocity and this is the density of the liquid and g is equal and suppose this is the weight of that body the mass is given and also we know g from the density equation we know that rho equal to m by v so m equal v into rho so if we get this m as v into rho into g and we say that v rho g and somehow if we say that this is equal I mean the weight of the object and the buoyancy of the object of, I mean, of the liquid is equal then you see this g and g and this volume and volume will not say I mean it will definitely will remove but you see the density this density is the object density and this density is the liquid density so if this density I mean the density of object and the density of liquid if it is higher the density of object if it is higher then the weight should be higher and then it will sink to the water because the weight which is working down, downwards it will definitely it will sink because this weight is so heavy but if you say that okay density of liquid is higher comparatively than the density of object then it will float because the level of buoyancy the value of buoyancy is higher than the weight of the object so usually we can have two conclusion that we usually can find out that the density of this object which is uh, immersing into the water or even into the liquid if the density of any object is greater than the density of the liquid then it will definitely sink but if the density of liquid is higher than the object then it will definitely float because the up thrust the buoyancy will be high as because the density is high we know that this v we said it earlier that v rho g and v rho g we got it from the weight equation and we got it from uh, the buoyancy equation here this v and this v is same because this is the volume of this object and this g is g is also same because this is the same in case of same displacement but this rho was the rho of object but this rho was the rho of liquid and hence the difference if this object density is higher than the liquid density then it will sink but if the liquid density 
is higher than the object density, it will float. And that is the reason of floating or immersing or sinking into uh, the liquids. And that is why this is the Archimedes law. I'm just, I'm just giving you the concept. I don't know that will you definitely understand or not or do you have any sort of confusions do let me know i was trying to give you an idea in two different cases number one we need to think about the weight and the buoyancy so if the weight i mean when it was immersed the lost weight would be equal to buoyancy and you know another side we can see that the density of liquid and density of the object if in your question paper the density of object is given and of course you know the density of liquid that will be immersed then you can simply say by watching the density that okay if the density of liquid is higher it will float or even if the density of object is higher then it will sink but in some cases whenever you need to understand that how much water it will be placed then you just find out the volume of the object if it is cylindrical then use pi r square h if it is circular then use 4 by 3 pi r cube whatever this given or even if it is cube shape then find it out uh, the r cube the a cube so a, by any chance we need to find out the volume and from that volume we can figure out the amount of water that it was displaced and then we can find the weight of the displaced water and that is equal to the buoyancy. We said it earlier that the body is lost that is amount of equal to the displaced liquid according to the Archimedes law. So this is in short description about Archimedes law. I will be coming up with some mathematical problem solving uh, techniques regarding the Archimedes law and those questions which is common in your question paper I shall be coming up with the solutions of those questions. So see you on the next class and let me know your feedback. Take care.